I Louisville says they are aware of at least 20 gangs operating in our city. At least 30% of the Metro's violent crime can be traced back to one of those gangs. And it's not just Jefferson County feeling the impact. Federal investigators confirmed gang members from Louisville are engaging in criminal acts across Jefferson, Oldham, Shelby, Henry, and Trimble counties. Shay McAllister sits down one on one with the city's top violent crime investigators to get a transparent look at our area's gang problem. A barrage of gunfire outside of a Hikes Point apartment complex on New Year's Day. This shootout gang related and an example of where local crews are operating. In this case, at an apartment complex right outside of St. Matthews. They're not just staying in their own neighborhoods committing these crimes. Assistant Special Agent in Charge Brian Jones says the FBI has identified between 20 and 25 gangs operating in Louisville right now. Neighborhoods like Newburgh, Shawnee and Smoketown are hot spots. In some cases, a street crew, as they're often called, will be based out of a single apartment complex using fear to intimidate innocent people to keep quiet. And when we talk about that intimidation or that fear, what could that look like? There was four individuals. They were selling drugs out of a neighborhood. They were uh, using weapons, uh, almost patrolling their neighborhood, patrolling the apartment complex with assault rifles. The Ross crew, as they're known, was a family selling drugs out of three apartment complexes in Newburgh. Special agents say the men used these rifles to patrol the complex while drug deals were underway inside the building. During an FBI SWAT bust, agents found baggies of cocaine and crack cocaine hidden around the apartment. This month, the four men were sentenced to federal prison time. One gang completely eradicated, but still just a small example of a much larger issue in our city. We see uh, everything from three or four members that are uh, causing significant fear and intimidation and violence in their community up to uh, 20, 30, 40 uh, individuals in a single gang. Jones says Louisville gangs are made up of men, women, and children as young as 14 years old. And yes, investigators confirm there is gang activity happening in local schools. Yes, we know that there are uh, students, uh, high school age students in, in this community, in, in Louisville, in the region that are involved in gang activity. ATF special agent in charge, Sean Morrow, says the federal system isn't designed to respond to juvenile crime. But in Louisville, his agency created a path to get involved because they are so concerned about the high rates of violent crime traced back to kids. Morrow says they are now working hand in hand with JCPS every time a gun is found inside a school. What we want to do is figure out where it came from, how it made its way into the hands of that juvenile, and ultimately how it made its way into the hands of the school. And special agents say teens affiliated with street gangs are responsible for much of the random crime reported outside of schools. Over the last year, police have arrested minors in major cases, from carjackings to arson to murder. This surveillance video from a home in a Louisville neighborhood off the outer loop, showing four people who appear to be teens walking through the backyard. Two of them walk up to the porch with what looks like a gun in their hand, checking to see if the door is locked. And here, a car stolen from a delivery driver while he was picking up food just feet away. So for many years in Louisville, city leaders weren't talking about gangs, police leaders weren't talking about gangs. Recently, that's changed. Why do you think that is? Our investigations collaboratively uh, uncover that there there is gang activity and the statistics show that there are and so for the the city leaders to uh, deny that is just not reality and so I think that uh, we're we're to a point where you know the public expects to know what's going on in the city. Shane, you know we answer so many questions from people who've been wondering about the gangs and their size. So. We cover more and more carjackings in our community. It's on the rise. What do the federal investigators tell you that you should do if you're, uh, if you're faced with a carjacking? I mean, listen, they say at this point, the best option should someone come up to you, ask for your keys, your wallet, your phone, or your car, is just simply give up your belongings. They say it's dangerous right now because it's oftentimes kids holding those guns, and they say those kids are quick to pull the trigger, not even thinking about the consequences. All right, thank you very much.